Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And this one I'm about to show you guys is because of what happened to me. So this right here, this is part of a filling, you know, the white filling that came out. And so I need to put it back in. So here are the tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a spatula. You're gonna need some usual oil, which is clove oil. You're gonna need um, a one quart, quarter teaspoon, um, yeah, quarter teaspoon, some zinc oxide, and then just have you some oil, put on some gloves, because this can be a very messy task here. This is very messy. And have some cold water on the side. Or if you're doing this in the bathroom, just have your faucet running cold or however you wanna do it, but you're gonna need some cold water and some oil. Because then when I say this can be a messy task, it really can, because if it gets all over your head, now the powder alone, if you get on your hand, that can be wiped off easily. However, if the powder mixed with the eugenol get on your hand, that's gonna be a task. Um, and you're not gonna really be able to wash that off with just soap and water. You're gonna use the oil. Put some oil all over your hands and then you can, you'll be able to wash that off real good. Then you can use the soap and water. And before you even put the, um, put the little compound inside of your tooth, you might want to put some oil on your lips just in case you get the, the, um, the, some of the mix on your lips or something. Yeah. And just be warned, eugenol oil, the clove oil, it is quite strong. And it is what the dentists use. All this is actually what the dentists use when they're filling in your, um, your cavity. Now there is a type of um, compound that's inside of the stores. This little um, booger here. So what I'm gonna say is don't get this only because it, it has some fluoride in it and it leaks the fluoride, so don't get that. I bought it because I wanted to get the little tool out and then I also wanted to show that that's inside of the stores and I read the, the ingredients on that and was like, ah, uh, nah, you, you, don't wanna, you don't wanna mess with that because it does leak out some fluoride and I did some research on that too. It does leak out fluoride. Um, but it's up to you if you want to use that or not. So, but what we're going to be using here, this is my zinc oxide powder. So this is going to be one part zinc oxide to two parts of the eugenol oil. So we're going to take a quarter of a teaspoon. And I only use this spoon with this eugenol oil. We're going to... Put so, that there. Take all of it off and sit that over to the side. Close that up. And then for the eugenol oil. So this is gonna be two drops of eugenol oil. One and two. There we go. Now what you're gonna do is use your spatula to mix this into eugenol oil. So this is gonna be divided into four sections. The zinc powder, divided into four. And we're gonna take one part of it and bring it over into the eugenol oil and start mixing it down. Then bring over another and start mix, mix it down and we're gonna take one part of it and 
bring it over into so the mixing mix bowl. It down. And you're gonna you're gonna want to mix this in really, really good. So with this first with this first little heat, it'll seem like it's it's all good, but it's not because you want this really strong with this zinc powder. And just make sure that this is this has to really be incorporated really good, y'all. Really good. This stuff lasts like in your tooth for like six six months. And if you don't have any health insurance, I mean, there you go. You don't have any dental. Or you just don't feel like going up under those um, chemicals or whatever the hell. You know, you could just do this all on your own. But again, like I said, you want to get this mixed in real good. And you want to get it mixed to the point to where it's not going to be sticky anymore. And you can roll it into a ball. And I need to put a little bit more into it. So you add the, um, you add the zinc powder in slowly because you don't want this to become crumbly. There we go. More. And so it's almost done. But yeah, make sure that you have on some gloves because this is a real messy, 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 messy. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put the rest of it in here. I may have dropped down more than one, more than two drops of the oil to tell you the truth. So it's gonna take all of it. And this is like kneading dough for some bread. Oh my stars. There. And yeah, the last time I did was, at, it was actually a bit over um, six months, the last time that I did it. And it was just what I was eating the other day that, that pulled it out today, so. And it's just about, it's just about ready. already so now now I don't need this large of a piece for my tooth so I'll just section it off to about the size that I'm thinking that I'm needing and it's going to be like a little bit of an overfill for my tooth not a little overfill but it's going to be a nice size overfill for my tooth Okay, now this this little tool, I forget what it's called, but they have like the metal one in the dentist, in the doctor, excuse me, in the doctor's office. And what you'll do is take your compound and you'll put it right on the end. Well, let's do this. I'm gonna make my little ball. And then I'm gonna put it right on the, the end. And I'm not gonna show y'all the side of my mouth. No, I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> but I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it down in my tooth and I'm gonna press down. And then, and I use, oh, and I forgot to get my little piece of saran wrap. I use a little piece of saran wrap and I put it in between my teeth, in between the top and bottom of my teeth, and I bite down. And I take and I put take some water. Well, I, I bite down, get it all packed in, more with my teeth, and then I'll take the um the take the saran wrap out of my mouth, and then that's where the cold water comes into play because the cold water helps it to start getting hard in your mouth. So you take the cold water, swish it around and then you're done. And that's how you fill your tooth if a piece of your cavity, like mine, falls out. At least if part of the compound 
comes out from the dentist's office and you do not want to go to the dentist's office to, to get it back done. I do not like that gas. And I don't like being shot in my gums. All right, you guys, so that's done. If I missed anything, any um, information, and if you have some questions, definitely um, ask me a question. Put it down in the comment box and I will do my best to answer questions. If I don't know it, then I'll let you know I don't know it because I don't know everything. And I'll see if I can direct you somewhere where you can find it. But hey, this is the internet. You can always do your own research. And you do want to start this process off with clean teeth. So make sure you clean your teeth, rinse your teeth out. When we <laughs> make sure you clean your teeth and rinse your mouth off with either some salt and water or use some um, use a little bit of peroxide in some water and just rinse it out really good because you want that area to be very clean and also have that area. Um, that you're going to be putting this compound in have it as dry as you possibly can have it dry and um, Then you go ahead and stuff it down inside of your tooth and then you are good and Don't eat on it on that side for what maybe about a few hours or so so that it can set so you don't make a mistake and get anything any food or gunk stuck all inside of it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, so that's it. <laughs>